Hello, how you doing today? Uh, over the weekend, Ann Romney's plane had to make an emergency landing in Colorado. And uh, essentially what happened, everyone's fine by the way, but essentially what happened is uh, smoke got in the cockpit and in the or in the cabin or whatever, and uh, the cause hasn't really been determined yet, probably a small electrical fire or something like that. But uh, she landed, called uh, her husband, excuse me, Mitt Romney, and uh, told him that, you know, what had happened and that everything was fine. Well, uh, later, after a uh, fundraiser, uh, Mitt Romney was speaking with a reporter for the Los Angeles Times when he expressed that he was concerned for his wife's safety, and rightly so. I mean, I would be in that situation. And uh, then he went on to make the incredibly... Uh, I don't really know what to say about that, because I know that there's a lot of Republicans out there, and they're going to take this the wrong way, but it, it was... And it's not a Republican or a Democratic thing, it's a ignorant thing. Uh, and the ignorant thing that he said is, why don't windows roll down on airplanes? Well, uh, why don't windows roll down on airplanes? Well, let me explain this to you. And, you know, I'm, uh, I'm sure that maybe one of the uh, middle class people who uh, were engineers who designed these planes. I don't know, maybe they were just trying to save a little money for the airline. No, uh, think before you speak a little bit, please, just just a tiny little bit. I don't know, you're, you know, I think the FAA is a federal agency that kind of falls under the jurisdiction of our next president. And this is kind of uh, bothersome to me. Why don't windows roll down on airplanes? All right, Mr. Romney, I'm, I'm going to explain something to you. On a warm summer day, and let's see, this is uh, late September right now, so you figure it's 70 degrees on the ground. Uh, airplanes routinely fly at 30,000 to 36,000 feet. I uh, don't know if you're aware of this, but first of all, the uh, air gets thinner up there, so there's no oxygen. Uh, this is why cabins are pressurized, and if you have a pressurized cabin and then you're sitting near a window in an airplane that's traveling 430 miles an hour and you pull that window down, uh, first of all, just the sheer speed of the wind coming by there will probably suck you out the window. If that doesn't, you're going to be aided by the fact that there's twice as much air pressure inside the cabin as there is outside the cabin. Now, I know that's probably a stupid statement because I don't know if it's exactly twice as much or how much exactly, but I know that it's pressurized to the point that uh, some planes have actually had catastrophic failure uh, at very high altitude because their airframe wasn't secure enough and had been around for years and years and years. And, you know, we, we've seen that over Hawaii where a plane just lost uh, part of its fuselage just blew off over Hawaii. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to another issue. Another issue is uh, the air gets four degrees colder per thousand feet. So you're traveling uh, 30,000 feet. So a ten, for each 10,000 feet, you've got a 40 degree drop in temperature. So if you're traveling 30,000 feet, you've got a 100 and... Uh, let's see... 3 times 4, 12. I'm sorry, I'm almost as slow as you. Uh, you have a 120 degree drop in temperature. So let's say you're having a 70 degree day. You know, what's that going to leave you with? Not very much, you know, minus uh, 50 or something. Have you, have you been in that kind of uh, environment? I don't know. I haven't been in a minus 50 environment. But anyway, you take a plane traveling at 430 miles an hour uh, at 30,000 feet and you roll the window down on that plane, you're going to have a problem. But uh, yeah, this is uh, just another crazy example.
But anyway, I uh, thought I'd bring that to you and share it with you if you haven't already heard it. Uh, you can look up more, just uh, just Google uh, Mitt Romney airplane window and you'll find all kinds of news on that. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, I do appreciate you coming by and uh, please comment, rate, subscribe and I'd really love to hear what you think of that well thought statement. Take care. Thanks.